Yeah, this is already looking pretty solid coming out from Secret. I love their draft. For Alliance, again, we talked about it. They're a bit squishy. I mean, people throw around the term tank all the time in like that 2K MMR bracket, and we need a tank, we need somebody up front. But in this situation, I think it's deservedly so. They don't have anybody. I mean, they have a Batrider to jump into Lasso, but other than that, they're really relying on Swap, they're relying on Gust, they're relying on Windrun, maybe even in Shackle Shot, and that's difficult. Kuroki just didn't li He could lift somebody up easily. Brew could clap. There's a lot that you have to deal with for your Alliance right now. And it's important to note, by the way, we thought for sure this was going to be, well, at least I thought for sure this was going to be a Zai Brewmaster, but they're playing the Phantom Lancer safe lane for Zai here. The solo safe PL as it were. And that might change based on what they see uh, up here at the top rune spot, but this might be the most interesting thing we've seen in a long time. A lot of people have been clamoring for that Zai off lane PL. They might see it, although in a safe lane scenario. The battle begins. Every coin helps. Yeah, I, it worked. We talked about this last time when we saw PL, you and I. We talked. To, it works like a mantis cell, I believe. Or I talked about it with somebody. I'm pretty sure it was you, though. Yeah. Yeah, but he, I, don't, I don't know if he's going to be able to stand in CS down in this bottom lane. Mid lane, there is going to be a rotation coming in. Arrow hits onto Pie Cap for Puppy. And they'll get the kill. Huge last raid for TZ. If he had missed that raid, he was out of mana. There's no way they're getting the kill. They secure it with a big arrow coming out. He does this every time he finds arrows at random. He's going to head top and he's going to look for the same thing. Will he find his second kill? Let's find out. Denied. It was not Down bottom, Firefly and Zai one sticking napalm stack. He uh, he doppelganger and he might have had more. I, I'm not sure, but he had one stack at the end of that. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he had six. So good on mop packs for seeing. It does get rid of it. He will Spirit Lance Niqua and Zai trading a lot of hits. Meanwhile, Arteezy is diving Dyer's mid. He has the range raised, attack. ready to go. But Pycat will win run away and actually get to safety. This is a... Arrow's going to come through just missing Pycat. Not measured enough for Puppy. He didn't get out his, uh, his compass. Wasn't able to find the right line. Good try coming out from the Marana, the blue player. And Puppy will head back to the top lane. I, listen, man, you said it the other day and I and I got into it. I can't. I don't know, man. It's a thing now. Oh, that's a... RTC has a double damage rune. It's... Oh, my God. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's certainly one. Dear Lord. You fool. I mean, Pycat, he was actually harassing Arteezy pretty well within the first uh, creep wave, but that arrow really, really killed him. I mean, it it really took him out of the lane. And so Arteezy will continue to get CS. He's up to 14. We've talked about how it is where he doesn't get farm and he can he head to the jungle, but now he has farm and he can still head to the jungle. And they're not dealing that with that at all. There's an arrow on the mad, beautifully done from Puppy. He somehow finds these arrows like it's uh, nobody's business. And he'll clear it up. He'll rotate back mid. He's, he's kind of making his... Uh, his home at this top hemisphere of the map. So, down bottom, Phantom Rush coming up from Zai, looking for Nikwa. Doppelganger to get in front, does not body block with the illusions. Oh man. The skill cap. Meanwhile, Loda, oh, no. arrow is going to connect from downtown. No, it snipes oh, him out. He goes down. S4 has clap and five. Croaky has. Fade Bolt and one. They don't need it. The right click. Dyer's this game so far is, is a attack. disaster, and Secret are giving it to Alliance right now. Puppy gets a double kill. A double kill for a support Marana. Sniping out, KSing almost with that Secret Arrow, which wasn't even needed.
they just they keep putting the pressure on yeah and i mean visage visage i mean he has a lot of damage but he's only level two and you have to like visage has mana issues now the, the big reason why it was such a factor is that he like he could spam out those spells bottom lane zai getting chased down nico does have a haste and that's huge Zai should probably fall. He already used his doppelganger. He's going to stick up. He'll spirit well, lights. Might take oh. down Nico with him. He's going to bottle up. He'll survive that last tower hit. Not going to do it. There's going to be another one. He's going to set a 27 HP. He will survive getting that kill. Finally, Alliance get on the board. But it, a lot of a lot of the cost as Nico has to head back home. He'll have to regen up. But getting up to 800 gold plus the bottle plus the boots. So maybe he can head to the jungle. However, they're not able to stack because Puppy is making sure nobody rotates over. Uh, towards that tier 2 tower, plus they have a uh, sentry ward here blocking up. Leave this camp, the small camp. Arrow's gonna fly. Ake uh, just gonna miss. Loda just misses. Misses almost every hero on that top lane. That arrow whizzed through. Telekinesis. They don't even need the arrow. We already talked about it. Fable, you talked you about the telekinesis. It's a big ability. Creator. And Loda's right clicking Kuroki, but until he gets that level 6, his damage is minimal. And he only has one Wraith Band. He doesn't do the much, that much damage. He has 17 Lastage as well. What a top lane for Secret. Arrow not connecting. Puppy fishing again, just can't find it. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. This should be an easy kill. He's going to use his doppelganger. They got to find the right one. That's it. Grape Shield's going to go. And uh, he's going to fall. Spirit Lance goes. There's a bit of damage. That's a really good rotation from Ake securing that kill without it. Last one, I'm not sure. They secure it. Meanwhile, mid lane puppy fishing for another arrow. Matt's sitting around to help out Pie Cat, but he's not really going for CS. And and all while, all the while, while top lane was an actually just a huge success for Secret. We have Arteezy, who's up to 58 CS at six, seven minutes into the game. He's head to the jung, he's head to the jungle a couple of times, and he's also got this creep wave to work with. He's crushing it right now. Top lane, arrow on the Luda again. S4's got to come in with the clap. Nice match missile on the Kroki. The Gust as well. Might save his life for a bit longer, but Telekinesis or Fade Bolt should go out. They don't even need it. Maybe. The right click, the 58 damage from the Rubik is enough. Zai taking a lot of damage bottom. Grave chilled up. He stays alive. He already used his doppelganger. He'll bottle up, and they're not going to die for the kill. They're afraid of TP rotations coming in from the rest of the squad, it looks like. And also, uh, Nikwe is pretty low. This might be a bit too aggressive. Yeah, they're going to throw up the telekinesis. They're going to throw up the split. Matt's trying to kill Kuroki on his own. He might get it done. Ake rotates in. Maybe to his death, they cyclone up. Load on Ake. He's probably just going to die to the boulder toss here. The right click of the flame pan. An easy kill coming out. Meanwhile, Arteezy rotates if they blow up Matt. He's looking for more. They're looking for Lotus still. S4, no blink dagger. He can run and he can clap. They have Drunken Haze. No, doesn't have it. But RTZ has the Haze rune. There's going to be the one raise. Will they get in close enough for a second one? The right click coming through. Clap comes out. They don't need the second raise. S4 gets a double kill. And they get it done. They're going to take this tower more than likely as well. RTZ, not only is he getting free farm, but he's feeding on heroes as well. This man is fat. You look at his net worth. He's 5,800, almost 6,000 net worth. And the next closest is going to be S4. On the brewmaster with 3.6, dear lord. Um, that's probably a record. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, Zai, what a shackle from Pycat. Zai should be dead. He does have doppelganger power shot goes. He doesn't Could avoid be worse. it. Oh, wait, nice no, play couldn't. from Pycat. 
Doesn't have split either. He has there. They had four heroes, and they're not going to chase him down. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. That's a pretty big timing. Nine minutes, nine minutes and 50 seconds. Arteezy's got to continue to go to work. S4 and Kuroki, they rotate in. S4's almost got his blink dagger. Fastest treads Yules on SF of all time. That's pretty big. And uh, Puppy is going to be rotating around as well. He's on level three. And now it looks like Alliance are just going to group up at Smoke. Smoke of Deceit gang coming up from Alliance. Yeah, I'm surprised they went with without the blink dagger. Firefly. That's he just leaps. That's it's that easy. Okay. See, yeah, it looks like Nico might be in trouble. He could firefly to the Dyer's high ground. Yeah, we're just gonna under attack. Uh, arrow's gonna sail through as well. It actually when he misses it. And well, they're gonna raise him anyway. Still, nice play. Telekinesis is onto Pycat. He does have Wind Run using it. Shackle Shot doesn't latch onto Puppy. Requiem getting canceled. Arteezy only gets off the secondary raise as he dies, but they do get the kill onto the Wind Ranger. But that is a big pickup for Pycat. He got that kill before he died. And that is a lot of gold, I'm sure. Up to a thousand now. Top lane, S4 is alone. Blink Flap's gonna go Gust. He doesn't get it off in time. Lotus about to fall again. S4 is on a killing spree. Every hero on Secret is on a roll. They're going to work. He might even get mad as well. The Boulder Toss coming through. S4 microing like a god. This guy might as well be a StarCraft player. Can't get the kill. Now he's gonna get Lassard actually in trouble. He has the Drunken Brawler. He also has a Stout Shield. Might not be tanky enough though. He's got Sticky Nate Pump Sex. Big crit coming out. Gets the kill onto Med. S4 does go. He does end up falling, but he gets two kills in the process. And, uh, I mean, trades all over the place, and it feels like almost Dyer's bottom tower are under getting attack. decent trades. Although, I think Alliance did do okay there at the end of the day. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. This one dies. <laughs> Dyer's middle tower has fallen. But they don't want to fight into this. There's so many heroes for Alliance. Ortiz has to back up the Foster is going. He's going to try to Requiem. Moonlight Shadow's going to go, and Matt is in trouble. But there's the Soul Assumption. He's not dead yet. Raze doesn't kill Ake. Power Shot snipes him down. Ortiz does get the double kill with the secondary raise. Nikwa and Loda both low, but... Well, we might actually have some cleanup. S4 on the hunt, but they've already backed up. Alliance say, no, we don't want any part of this. And you know you're having a bad game for Loda if you have three Wraith Bands and no treads at 12 and a half, almost 13 minutes into the game. Kuroki might get ganked. Piecat hits the Shackle Shot. Power Shot is available. Doesn't even need it. Uses the Focus Fire easily. Piecat keeping this team afloat right now, it feels like, with the help of Nikwa and uh, the Bat Rider. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower yeah, is under attack. Yeah, but it will not be so lucky. He's on level 8. The arrow does miss. Not that it's, it, it doesn't matter. Zai is able to secure that kill. That'll give him a bit more fun. And get our team's blink dagger. Did that arrow actually hit Matt? It did. Are you kidding? The spirit lights, they're going to get two out of this. They really shouldn't have. Matt should have been able to back up, but he got hit by that arrow. Who, I mean, Puppy was not aiming for that in any stretch. And he still gets the double kill for Zai. you got to be kidding me. They get the big kill. 
Artizis actually died a lot recently, but now S4 is alone. Rotations down bottom. They're going to try to help out their teammate. Pycat heading out. They want to cycle him. Can they get it off in time? Boulder Toss, long range. He did win run. The Spirit Lance, the arrow connects as well. Pycat still in trouble. Clack goes through. Pycat finally goes down. The big news is the secret. And they will get a pretty solid kill. Maybe even the uh, Familiars as well. They're about to be out of Stone Gaze. Or Stone Form, rather. Phantom Rush, they don't go for it. S4 does blink, gets the clap, gets the kill onto both. And that's another extra 200 gold going their way. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah. Yeah. They died. S4 just killed them. Uh, she might die again. She does get six finally, but uh, she will have to pay with her life for it. Uh, she will fall. Puppy still moonlight shadowed. Meanwhile, top lane, Artezi blows up Loda. Pimp, that was his first missed kill. He was so upset, and he's been doing such an amazing job. Constantly alerting us to the action. Piecat, Shackle Shot's going to connect the arrow. Just misses Piecat, and Piecat had a DD. Able to get the kill easily. As for the birds going through, they can still fight if they would want to. Piecat going to get Spirit Lance. He does have win run he's got a power shot again get some vision see what's going on decides not to fight realizing that two of his heroes are down loda going down again though to arteezy and that is just loda is having one of those games they're gonna jump in they're gonna lasso on to kuroki they're gonna keep him on the cliff Dyer's arrow sailing tower. through missing completely that was kind of a whiff shack shot doesn't connect kuroki still gonna go down to the right click and that's actually two big kills coming out from the side of alliance <laughs> And also, by the way, Puppy's pretty low. They're chasing after Zai. He has Doppelganger. He's going to use it quickly. And they're going to swap out Pycat. He is going to get stunned, though, from the Boulder Toss. Long range, bad arrow, not going to connect. Zai still on the hunt. Spirit Lance is available. They're going to use it. He should fall. Boulder Toss onto Pycat again. They'll chase after them. Matt is about to fall. Zai can't get there in time. Big Cyclone coming in from S4 once more. The clap comes in. No, it was just the... the Crit actually, but now actually the frost arrows, the power shot, the slow was enough. The firefly also doing a heck of amount of damage. Zion some trouble. He's gonna have his almost his diffusal blade. He will not go down. He'll take care of some of these illusions. And finally, the first semblance of a good fight. Oh, that arrow just missed on Toloda. But the first good fight for Alliance at 17 minutes comes in and they get 1,000 gold off the back end of it, not including Arteza's death. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Right. Dyer's top tower is under attack. We're gonna head to Roche. My cat is, uh, he's in trouble. Requiem could go. He's gonna use it now. My cat does avoid a lot of that damage. He's got a power shot. Arteezy flicks the cliff. Misses the first raise. Roche still very low. Piecat might die to Roche. He's not careful. He will finally bring it down. Goes down to Roshan. Arrow coming in. Nikola takes the ages, though. And he's in some trouble. He does have Firefly. Zai going to work on the mad. That's a nice, I guess, kill. They've already killed three on the backside. They've gotten a couple. Ake gonna just get forced away by Nikwa. He's gonna get Hightail it out of there. He's got his Firefly up. Ake looking for the Soul Section. He'll find it onto S4. They're gonna back away. Nikwa and the rest of the squad lose three in the process. Although, Pycat goes down to Roche, but they do get the Aegis and they do get the Roshan. That is something that they can at least celebrate for Alliance. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yep. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. 
Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is yeah. under attack. Could be Arteezy in trouble, doesn't have a BKB, he does have a Yule's loaded, does get an arrow power shot going into Arteezy, he's so low, still such a will secure the kill, Requiem doing no damage, Zai jumps in, doppelganger's away, Ake will probably fall, meanwhile Blackhack getting telekinesis, Zai gets a double kill, his illusion army going to work, there's so many units, the micro is real, Blackhack, win run in three seconds, he's gonna have to use it if he wants to survive, and he'll pop it off, he might get to the high ground and stay alive, and up in the air is going to be that right. Cycloned up here. and actually Pycat surviving. Buyback coming in from Lota, but what can he do? Another Spirit Lance onto Nequa. Nequa getting chased down. Power shot, I think, just clipping Zai. He's gonna get caught out by the familiars. Arrow's gonna miss. Puppy, not a point. Shackle shot at Zai, doesn't latch. Doppelganger's away, stays alive. Spirit Lance could be there. Kuroki stole Focus Fire, not exactly the damage ability he wants. He'll back away. They lose Arteezy. They get a couple of kills in the process. I think they only got Loda. And they'll smoke and oh, win out. Power shot's not nice. coming out from Pycat. Just the tip, and they get the kill onto poor Zai, who thought he was alive for sure. But nope, you're dead, buddy. Response stuff from Alliance. That looks like, you know, Eldo, Loda was gonna die there, but just everybody from Alliance in the right place at the right time. 600 gold, 1200 experience. That, that ain't nothing. That's, that's uh. And how do you get gold? I mean, he dies so often. And with that, like you said, as a dry ranger, you want to snowball. Like, what's going to happen when he does get his first big item? Like, is he going to be able to survive still? Like, does he need, like, a BKB? Is an SMY really useful at, like, 25 to 30 minutes into the game? What do you do? Yeah. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Right now, though, it does feel like Pycat and Nico are carrying this game with Ake providing a lot of uh, backline artillery. Like those soul assumption bombs are huge, and the familiars too also give them a lot of lockdown. And so there, I mean, it feels like there's definitely they're still in this. Oh, Arteezy walks Dyer's into the sentry. Loda TP's attack. out. With him TPing away, they don't want to actually try to fight this because if they did. Maybe Zai stays bottom. I'm not sure when Zai TP'd. It looks like he's already at the Ancient Stack, so he probably TP'd a while ago. But those illusions were going to work. Um, now everyone from Secret on the hunt. Ake doesn't have a TP. He doesn't have enough money for it. Mad just TP'd, but it got canceled or something. He, he was TPing right here. And then all of a sudden, he, it's on cooldown, and he's not, he's not where he should be. gonna go nope instead he raises they will get the kill no he wouldn't run just in time but he does get right clicked they even split for that Zai no he's not involved he's actually just farming it up and that's actually the biggest kill that I think you could get as secret um, I mean it's, it's a mid, mid mid lane wind ranger 
And Piecat had his Aghanim Scepter, and that was huge. Well, he's close, I should say. I don't think he... Yeah, he actually has a full Ags. Arrow not going to connect to Niqua. Yule's first. They're going to back away. Mads on the backside, Arteezy sees him. He's going to get Magic Missile. Arteezy has no blink. He's already used it. He's going to get Lasso back. Familiar's doing a lot of work to clap, but Arteezy's dead again. He has six deaths in this game, despite how fast of a start he might have had. He's got a few to get away. And they will get the arrow, I believe, onto Matt. They crash going through as well, but it's just not enough. The Fade Bolt coming through. What a mech from Ake. They're turning the fight around. Two dead. Zai nowhere near to fight. Kroki on his broom, flying around as the Bat Rider, but he'll go down as well. Nikwa gets a... Uh, the dominating spree, he gets the kill in Kuroki, they Dyer's chase away Puppy, under and suddenly with those three kills, that is a lot of gold going the way of Alliance. That is 3.2k gold and 5k experience. They'll take that any day of the week. Dear Dyer's Lord. bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. And we're going to send it right over to Pimp. Pimp, what's up with that last fight, my friend? All right, I just want to quickly mention this because it was a crazy chaotic fight, but what really turned this fight around was A, RTZ, like we right see, uh, like like we see right now. I was actually using his skills and he was blinking back. Now, Mad was AFK there in the secret shop for, uh, I mean, in the side shop for like two minutes or something. He finds Arteezy, they've got a lesso and the whole lot of people, they were absolutely like buffered. They had no idea what to do and they rush into the fight. They get absolutely shredded because of some amazing bird mic. I just want to say, Ake isn't going to be using the second bird. So now he resummons them right here. This is clutch actually. And then he does the damage because he knows exactly how tanky this bench is. This is just the signs of a great support and he's very experienced. So with that, well, everything goes south and back to you guys on the live broadcast. Yeah, that's a 12k net worth lead for Secret, but there is still a very good chance the Lions could get back into this with plays like that, those bird Allies, plays. You don't expect key. them, but when you do have the precision aura like you were talking about, when you have a wind range, you're getting Ags now with level 3 focus fire, the damage is real. And uh, it all comes Radiant's down to Nikwa's Lassos, I believe. Under attack. So Secret, they, they have this huge advantage, but can they actually capitalize on it is the real question. Let's check out these drought win rates. Six. Bullseye. My God. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh. Right this way. Wow, oh my God, you weren't kidding. Hurt him so much as an understatement, more like kill him dead. Goodbye, S4. He has a stout shield still. No, it's just the Ogre Club, but he does also have Drunken Brawler, so that's something. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Literally half a second. Dyer's dead. structures are fortified. I think also the issue is kind of Zai getting big though. Like that's the that's the one problem the lines have. I mean, they dealt with our they dealt with S4. Fallen. But the entire time the plan has Roshan probably been okay. Has just make room for Zai. We we don't need to fight now. We can if we want to. Aki's gonna get arrow, but whatever, that doesn't matter. Aegis has picked up the Pi Cat. Um, so Alliance are like, yeah, we're getting these big victories, but how do we deal with Xy later on? I guess Maelstrom is one of those ways, but they're going to have to find another way to maybe get a lasso. I mean, it's so hard with Doppelganger and all of his abilities and his Manta style as well. So Xy is becoming a presence. He's becoming the top of the net worth. He's actually just behind Arteezy, who now has a Scotty.
I mean, we've seen it before. Like, Zai getting an Assault Kuros, for example, and like a Desolator or some ridiculously freaking unbelievable items. Like, well, I guess, you know, he's just gonna carry. Now, armor reduction, sure, why don't we go for that? Why don't you get a, why don't you get a Rapier while you're at it, Zai? My lord. But, Ake's gotta finish his axe first, and he's getting there. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, that's the difference of play styles, though. When when we see Secret Dyer's pick up like a, a you know attack. a tempo controller for Zai, they're they're kind of playing around Arteezy. That's not the case this game. He's kind of doing his own thing for a lot of the time. And it's worked out in the early game, but now, I mean, he's getting killed. But it looks like they don't, they don't give a damn. They're like, all right, Artur, we'll see you later, buddy. We're going to take care of this with Zai later on down the line, which is the crazy thing. And it honestly could work out for, uh, for Secret. gonna go he has no other positioning other than wind run no four staff but they can't actually go for the kill they have no idea where uh, the players from alliance except for Loda are who is bottom and they could have jumped they could have had RTZ jump in with his Yule scepter they probably could have gotten that kill if they weren't so passive about it but Pycat is uh, he's pretty slippery he'll back up towards attack. that bottom line and this could be it like you said the first objective the tier one tower is it there Radiant for alliance this fortified. is where the gold's gonna come from these towers and a couple of fights as well but you still have to deal. We're gonna have to TP back top it here Radiant's in just a second and deal with Zai's Manta style. Deal with his illusions. Otherwise, he's gonna cripple attack. their base. They're taking the tier two mid. They blink away. Shackle shot from the backside. That was almost amazing for Bycat. That would have been something else. But he does finish up his Mjolnir. He has his Agadim Scepter. 31 minutes in. This game felt like it could have been over at, you know, 30, maybe even 25. But Alliance have made some really solid plays to stay in this one. Yes, yes. Very quickly, oh, actually, hold on. Nick was looking for a target, and he might find Krogi. Just telekinesis. Yes. Arrow's gonna come through. They do land it. They're gonna get this kill. Up, he is gonna die Wake so up. quickly. <laughs> Bat Rider, you are not flying uphill. Sorry, bud. Phantom Rush with an illusion towards the familiars. Like you said, it's very hard to sustain. Um, a push with just illusions because the illusions um, that are created by other illusions only last for four seconds with juxtapose whereas illusions created by phantom lancer last eight seconds plus the doppelganger illusions are also eight seconds so this might be an easy kill for artizzi only does like half of his health and now Pycat's gonna turn it on the owner's gonna go the spirit lights the clock he almost gets artizzi but the entirety of secret gang up on him surround him and they beat him up like a freaking schoolyard fight and they're going to keep going down mid and look for a tier 2 tower. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top yep, tower yep. is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. They're going to back. Radiant's top tower has been denied. By the way, RTZ, RTZ's going Assault Kuras. What do you think about this pickup coming out from the Shadow Team? Oh, 
I mean, it's certainly going to help again. The, the right clicks from PyCat, it's like he's he's got he's got flashbacks. He's got P PTSD at this point because he's been taking too much damage on the cell cross. Like you said, it's going to help. It'll keep him alive. Yeah. Then. No problems there. Moonlight Shadow is going to go. Uh, they have a gem, so they have really good map control right now. There is one Radiant's Observer Ward that is about is to fade, and that's it. I, I think they saw it, though, as Pip pointed out. Mad's on the retreat. Very good map awareness coming out from Alliance or A bit of a misplay coming out from Secret. That could have been huge. They would have been circled in mid, and well, once that happens, it really comes down to Alliance. I think, again, because they have the Bat Rider, it's up to them to get the initiations. If the Bat Rider can't find the pickoff or if Secret are initiating, then it becomes a huge issue. By the way, both initiators coming out for both sides have uh, BKBs. S4 has one and Niqua has one, which for Niqua, his biggest problem has been getting telekinesis in and actually just he, he can't really force that back while he's got that lasso target. So that'll provide him a way to move in and out of these fights and find a pickoff where before he was getting just obliterated by telekinesis from Kuroki. Uh, third richest PL of 6.83 at 35 minutes. The hero is 10 and 8 so far on his 6.3 return. I was going to say that that seems like a small sample size. So, yeah, I mean, uh, but this is the, the the crazy thing about this is that he was played in a role where, yes, he was in the safe lane, but he was against a bat rider. He was alone. He was a solo safe lane Phantom Lancer. And uh, he's done very well for himself in spite of all that. Radiant's top tower and then also Hockey attack. rotated over, but no, I mean, that, that's unavoidable. Right, it's not the worst lane in the world, and he's done very well. Still impressive. Not a hero that we've seen too much of. He, like you said, he Radiant's just picked up the butterfly and he gets 5k gold. Dyer's bottom Although, lines are pushing pretty quickly. We know what a Drow Ranger could do with a Wind Ranger on the map with Focus Fire, but they're going to fight mid, it looks like. Nico is here, Firefly. Blank Lasso is going to go S4. We'll get his BKB off, but that's not going to matter if they right click him. Clap's going to go BKB from Nico, I believe, just went as well. Split's going to go. They're going to push him into the base. Meanwhile, Tier 3 Tower bottom die is going to work. Tier 3 is not going to stand for long. And suddenly, for Alliance, they have no glyph and their base is being destroyed. The PL, the illusions. Bottom oh my lord, Radiant's but top, top lane. Pycat is going to work. They'll take down a tier three and they actually get the melee racks. So it's a melee racks for a full range racks here, a full set of racks. Zai will right click it Dyer's once, he'll doppelganger away. Can they grab him is the question. No mana for swap as his illusions went on top of Mad. He's like, please, I just want to bring you back. Nikwa has no last. So flame break pushes him back. Doppelganger's up, Mantis again. Kuroki's nearby. Can he actually just no. 1v5 them? Absolutely Can not. Too much damage. Kuroki blinking away. Heal buys back. More. Interestingly enough. He'll, yeah, and he gets a BKB too. Yeah, yeah, it is up now. You're right. What a weird. Like, that was just the weirdest uh, set of fights. Bottom lane, top lane. Of another, I insist. It, Roshan has fallen to the radiant. Immortality. Jeez is gonna be grabbed by Arteezy. They will give the Aegis to Zai. And with the set of racks going down mid. If they could just find one more fight, I think Alliance, they might tap out. Secret will 
try to push down mid, I think. Maybe keep one hero or two heroes in another lane to, to try to ride it out because they have the illusions. Air's gonna sail through. They see it coming from a long way. And everyone's behind the racks. So the line's sorry. They're not peeking their head. They're not showing their hand when they don't need to. Manta Illusions clearing out the creep wave. They're going to try to go on one of these familiars. It's going to have to stomp. Do they have a resummon? No, it's down for 140. He just resummoned it. So if these uh, familiars go down, that's a big part of their damage gone. His eye's going to move right up to the high ground again. He has the Aegis. They don't care if they bait him out. He doppelgangers. <laughs> Meanwhile, BKB's popped in the back lines. I think I heard BKB's. Arrows do connect onto Pycat. He's going to be swapped out. There's the BKB. The Bruce still has it up. He's also split up. Nico BKB. He gets the last one to Arteezy. They can't get any damage. The tier 3 gone. Kuroki getting right quick. The Pie Cat is already dead. He'll have to buy back Zai. Now surrounds Moto. He doesn't know where to go. And he just dies under the shadow of the tier 4 tower. Pie Cat gets Spirit Lance. Zai has a double kill. Arteezy low in life, but Ake in trouble. Blink forward. Ake's gonna fall. 3 dead, 4 dead, 105 seconds. That'll be it. Nico, the only surviving member of Alliance. What a disaster it's turned into in these last couple of minutes. They've been down the entire game. They were finally going. Oh, GG, but secrets just overwhelm them. Zai getting an ultra kill at the end of the game because he was super far. He took over. They said, screw you, RTZ. We don't need you, buddy. We got Zai. We got the next best thing. And uh, he turned out to be quite the force for secret in that game.